Uh, hey guys, this is the Blazing Show with Chris, and I'm Chris here uh, with Khan, right? I got the name right. Yes. Um, yes. Oh, I almost missed the intro there. Uh, uh, how are you? Uh, uh, Khan, thanks. How about you? I'm, I'm good. How are you? Yes. What time is it? 4.39 p.m. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, I, I've just uh, opened my my PC and I saw you asking me what is my yeah. Skype number and I, I forgot. <laughs> um, but wait, now I found you. <laughs> wait, who is that next to you? Uh, I'm going to assume wife? Yes, it's uh, Denise. Ah. <laughs> are you, are yes. you both in Taifong, the band? Uh, no, only me. She takes care of the plannings for concerts or rehearsals. Ah. Yes. <laughs> um, well, can you talk a little about yourself? Um, Khan, right? Yeah, Khan. Yes, Khan, yes. Well, t t t t tell us a little about yourself, Khan. Yes, well, I started uh, learning uh, piano at the age of seven. And then uh, I went to England to, for four years to learn the English. And uh, at 15, I switched on to guitar. Then at 15, as I started with a, a group mm. and we played, uh, you know, uh, name bands like Rolling Stones or The Shadows, Beatles. And uh, in uh, 75, um, I, I started the, the group with uh, Typhoon, hmm. which means Typhoon in English. Oh. Yes, Typhoon, in, it's a Vietnamese name for Typhoon. Wow, wow. so how did you come up with that name, actually? Were you in Vietnam? Uh, no, I started in, in France, near Paris. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you talked about a French progressive band. Yes, we, we, I think we... We won the oldest progressive French band because uh, uh, this year we started. Uh, um, it's our 40th anniversary. 40th, wow! Because our first album went out in 1975. You see, so <laughs> we're the oldest band. <laughs> but we made a, our latest album. Have you heard it? I've uh, no, actually. What is it? I saw something of a, a tour in Japan, but I did not see the recent. Well, album. Uh, the the last album is called "Return of the Samurai." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but so uh, on give uh, on on the mail. I give you the uh, give me your address, postal address, and I send you a copy. All right. Uh, all right. When you go, when you go, um, I'll will send you. Uh, uh, after after we're done, I'll I'll send you that info. Um, um by the yeah. way, uh, how come you it took like a ye ten years to do like an album, like seventy five, seventy nine, two thousand? What the heck were <laughs> you doing? <laughs> like from the eighties to two thousand. Well, well, I was uh, I was um, working for um, a shop musical shop you see but i still compose for for my group so uh, we i, I compose all the songs from the latest album that's why um we we took all that long because i had uh, another work oh wow, oh, wow. That, that, yes. that, that's that's too bad though like you could have done so much more songs my favorite song personally is uh, it's the Gulf of Trowled, the Gulf of Knowledge. Yes, Gulf of Knowledge. Yes, we we played that. Uh, That's ten in, minutes uh, long. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's um, it went out on the second album, which called uh, Windows. 
It was in 76. Ah, uh, does that take you back? Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. What was that you were saying? Like it was a. You said so uh, we we played that on concerts. We wow. played exactly, quite exactly the same. Wow. I, I think yeah. more like a meditating song in a way. Yes. Yes. But like like whenever I think of that song, I, I listen and for like ten minutes, I'll be like, everything that has ever happened to this very moment, I think of it. What happened? <laughs> Good, bad things, like anything. You it makes you. Uh, that's one song. I thought but, I would uh, think it's a one hit wonder or something. I first saw it on Slacker when it was in this cover. Um, like a, there's a rainbow, a, a nice painting, really. It's a. Yes. It said it said typhoon, pink clouds or flowers or. And then rainbows. Yes, uh, I like the artwork. That's the album it was. Yes, that's it. It's uh, the album was called Windows, and it's my little brother, who was uh, sixteen years old, who drew that. Uh, that. Um, Your brother. No, my, my brother. Wow. Yes, he was sixteen at that period, and uh, he he drew the, the uh, sleeve of the. Of the album. Wow. He's a prodigy. Um. B by the way, uh, how come? Wow. Wow. So, I'm just thinking of a song. Like, so he did that artwork. Wow. So, yes. uh, how come you're like the last one in the band, though? I had that thought. There's like one. Like it says, like you're the only member left. Yes. Well, I, I started the group and uh, I'm still there to, for the last one. Mm. And we already signed for the next one with uh, the um, with Japan. But you're like alone, aren't you? That kind of stuff. Sorry? Are, are, are you alone in the band? Do you have to you present Thai Fong just by yourself? Oh, no. Uh, we... We are we're five, five members. Oh, I thought the band broke up, so that's why I, I asked. Uh... Oh no, no, as as I composed all the songs of the last album, but uh, we were five on stage because I, I cannot play all the instruments. Wow. <laughs> Any uh, other questions? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what exactly is a progressive band? I think a progressive is like in politics, but I don't know if it's the same thing in music. Well, progressive band started with Pink Floyd. Uh, oh, yes. I've heard of them. Uh, King Crimson, uh, Super Trap. You know, that kind of music. I mean, um, when uh, any song, we can change the rhythm, the atmosphere of a song. We don't, except for some songs that are for singles, we, long songs, we, we change the rhythm and the atmosphere. Mm. <clears throat> um, uh, what other what other kind of music have you like worked with? And can you talk a little bit about uh, Asian music if you can? Oh, not really. No, no. I um. You know what I, mean? I think uh, now it's um. We're still playing progressive songs, but uh, we also like singles. So some songs are very easy to to listen to. Okay, but people, people said that uh, uh, our music is has is not uh, uh, old fashioned. It's uh, it's out of time. You see, if you listen uh, to a new song and a song made in, in seventy five, it's uh, quite the same. Oh. We, we we don't follow the trends. Don't follow trends. 
No, we don't. <laughs> Where? Because like I, I, I have never heard him talk about you exactly in the U.S. As far as I know. Oh, it's, it's like it's like very underrated, maybe. Uh, sorry. It's very underrated. Like I never heard of anybody in, in the in the U.S. media talk about Typhoon. I had to oh. find this out on Slacker because I like to listen to all kinds of music on Slacker. Like, like I don't yeah. just stick to one genre. That's why I found you and the and the um, the, the song Golf of Trowled. That was like yeah. ten minutes long. You guys laughing yes. in the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it, it's 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 long, but um, it's, it's not uh, difficult to play. <laughs> and the singing is like in the end, like the last two minutes. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you the one that's singing that? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Do you sing too? Yeah, I love to. I love to sing, and oh, um, I, I didn't know that was you though. Actually, I thought <laughs> it's, a, it's a random. Yeah, but but <laughs> you you said you're with like a few other people, but like I thought you were like alone for some reason. I don't know why, because it said. Um, something about reform. The band ref like it was only the last remaining member. Khan is their last remaining member, and I'm like, I don't. I thought you were yes, alone. I'm, I'm the only one left, but uh, we we I have uh, new members now, and uh, the the other guitarist is uh, my son. Uh, he his name is Davy, and he's I think he's the best guitar. Player we ever had. Wow! wow. If, if, yes. if he's there, if he's there, I wouldn't mind you bringing him on 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 the computer. I wouldn't mind saying hi. Um. By the way, like, so the band goes all the way back to like the sixties, maybe sixties, seventies. Seventies. Ah. Yeah. Do Do you have a a, a Facebook? Uh. Yeah, because yeah. If you have, you can listen to um, most of our latest songs from the latest album. Not many singers do that though. Like putting their songs so you could anybody could listen to them. It's mostly you have yeah. to buy. Yes. But yeah, but uh, like you're not in it for like so people can buy your song. You just want people to listen to your songs. You don't you don't care about getting money or. No, no, no. Oh, that's awesome. But we're selling well. <laughs> we sell in uh, 16 countries. Oh. Mm. 16 countries? Like, where, where, which countries have you guys gone to besides Japan? We, 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 don't, we didn't play any other countries besides uh, Japan. But we sell records in uh, 16 countries. Wow. It's unbelievable. Um, and now the recent tour is in Japan. Can you talk about that? The the tour, at, I don't know if it's just 2013 or it's still ongoing. Yes. Um, the, the, the public was uh, amazing. They, they knew all our songs, you see. And some fans uh, just went to every concert. <laughs> We played about two hours and twenty minutes, and some of them came at each concert. Some people actually came to every concert. Oh, wow! Yes. <laughs> wow, I'm sure. I'm sure you you sh you should have like let them go on stage or 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 meet them backstage or something. I never see well, if I do that actually. Go to every single concert. You actually recognize the faces too. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes, I know. Um, well, the the um, the place we play is club theater, and they're quite strict about uh, people um, wanting to get on get on the stage. So it's difficult for them. But uh, after the concert, we we talked uh, to uh, about a uh, hundred people, and they came to our hotel as well. And I don't know where they. They knew uh, where we went to. Um, At what, what hotel? 
So you would actually let them on stage, but just that the the staff people who work at the at the uh, at the place they, yeah. they, they didn't want anybody to go up stage, even though even if you would have allowed it. I guess that's just policy. Yes. Yes, oh. they didn't they didn't want it. and nobody can uh, take your pictures or film, even with their smartphones. Why? Like, uh, well, it's uh, it's their policy. Wait, so nobody could do that while you're while you're on stage. Yes, we huh. they cannot film or take pictures. Oh, that sucks. Most places you you <laughs> but, most places I see people with like the phone, etc. Yeah, that's too bad you can. <laughs> yes, but anyway, uh, next month we we um, we are selling uh, DVDs. It's a double DVD where anyone can buy and can see us uh, how we play on stage. Mm. Besides the song I was like obsessing with uh with um, the Gulf of Knowledge, can you talk about some other songs that you have here? I haven't like I'm only I, I was mostly just into that one, but there's, yeah, a, well, there's a bunch of more here. But anyway, I I send you uh, our five albums if you want. Uh, I I just don't have money myself. No, but it it's a it's a gift. Oh, uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Just give me your postal address, and I send you. All right, all right. After 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 I get off, I'll yes. I'll, I'll send you. Um, are okay. you on Skype much? Cause like I thought you didn't. I thought you weren't gonna. I thought you weren't gonna show up. <laughs> I, I just came him. back, so I, I forgot my Skype num uh, name. <laughs> That's why I don't use it very much. Oh, are you mostly like on the road? Cause like I, I I've seen that I've talked to most people that like they were like on the road so like they hardly have they hardly use a computer some of them can only come for like one time and I, or I would have to wake up in the morning to come to the studio and then because <laughs> they're like all over the place uh you know some people I would even miss the meetings because I'm not used to like waking up early in the morning going yeah. to the studio and meeting them in that exact time yeah so it, it would be pretty pretty hard so I would have to reschedule them and when can I and and the worst part is some some places like the time zone is really messed up, so like it's like ten hours ahead of here. So oh. over there it's like ten or eleven, right? See, it's uh, exactly uh, five to eleven. Wow, like like six <laughs> six six hours. And I talked and I've ta um, talked to people who like they said that it's like ten to or even twelve hours from here. So you would have to see when can you go, when can they be available? That, that's very tricky. <laughs> well, I don't sleep very much, you know. I I just need uh, four or five hours of sleeping. Mm, wow. Yes. Yesterday we we rehearsed. So, so I'm, sometimes I'm not uh, behind the computer. Oh, so... Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, by, by so, the, uh, what's what's the, what's the name of your radio? Well, well, I um, it's WSPR, the radio station I'm in, but the show yes. is the Blazing Show with Chris, which I thought of that name not too long ago, but because the show, I've uh, like even I'm a freshman in college, it's only yes. a few months old. Yes, but at the moment, I'm not going live. Uh, yeah, so I'm pre-recording. I had a bunch of people on, like most oh, of them. I don't yeah. know if you, if you even heard of them, but like it's yeah. it, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun though. Regardless, even if it's not live, so it's, if it's pre-recorded, it's it's so much fun. And the name, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I might change the name in the future. The Blazing Show with Chris and and there's a bunch of and I'm, I'm not the only one in the in who's uh, who has a radio show. There are so many people you can look online. They have awesome names. Etc. Yes. You should and, make uh, a radio show actually. Like you can make a type phone radio show and you can actually like well, I don't know if you have time but Yeah, I don't I, I don't I, think I have And you can time. perform live too. And people will listen. So in a way it's like a it's like a free concert you're giving at home. Radio know, just, show. <laughs> just a wild thought there. Sorry? Just a thought there. Uh it's not a bad idea though. Because you could give like a free concert. Let's say you could sing one of your songs 
at home, it's a radio yeah. show. It's we, like you're giving a yeah. concert. Yeah. Anyway, when we have a, a DVD, we can put it on Facebook. So anybody can see how we play on stage. Wow. Wow. Mm. Uh, and why do you think that you people cannot record the concerts when when uh, like why is the policy like that in other countries but like in the US you could record? Yeah, be because thing. because um, some people have already uh, bootleg uh, uh, concerts. That's why people have we 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 heard that uh, we we heard that uh, some concerts were were out on the market with uh, with CDs. You see, that's why in Japan they they didn't want anyone to to film or take pictures. Also, so in a way that was like I'm not sure if it was a. Uh... So you basically you're like taking credit uh, or something like out of that's something that's not originally your content or without permission, right? Yes, that's it. Because um, uh, uh, our concerts uh, cost cost quite a lot, and um, if people just um, record our, our concerts and put it on the the net, then uh, we won't sell much afterwards. Oh, because like mm. I, I don't, I don't go to concerts that much. But like I, I like I don't. I guess because like I never like work much at all, like at all. So like I don't know what what it's like to have money and actually be able to go in places. So hopefully in the future I could see concerts. And you're gonna yeah. go to Japan, but um, do you know any other places you might go to after Japan? Yes, uh, uh, it would be uh, probably in. Uh, Ukraine, oh. next to next to Russia. Hmm. I I was concerned about the Ukraine because there's a conflict over there in Ukraine. Yeah, yes. So you gotta be we, careful. But we we'll wait for <laughs> the conflict to be over. I can I can only hope that because like because you don't want to put yourself in danger for something you don't have to like have nothing to do with. So. Yes. Yes, I know. Um, but what advice do you have for like, anybody who wants to be a singer or, or form a band? Because I'm sure people who are listening might want to form a band. And yes. you've been there for decades. So what is it like, like et cetera, et cetera? Well, I think uh, they, should, they should record the, um, the songs and not playing any other songs, you see? Not copy any, any group or play other people's songs. They must try and compose themselves, and then they can record and um, and sit and put it on uh, the net if they oh. they cannot find a recording company. Oh. It's a good way today, anyway. Mm. And and also it's hard because you like some of them you have to like retake a lot of t like do a lot of times. Like oh, it yes, takes many really. takes. It's hard. You have yeah. to, you have to like keep rehearsing, etc. It's a very, it's very time consuming, pace taking. Yes, yes, I know. Um, we take about um, thirty days to to um, record uh, one song. You see, Why like so the long? Gulf, of, the Gulf of Knowledge. We took about one month. Why? Why so long for one song? Because it's um, not that much singing either. No, uh, no, because uh, we had to hire some instruments we don't have. For example, in the Gulf of Knowledge, you can hear a gong, and the gong is very expensive. So oh. we had to hire it, and um, when you hire it, uh, we group it with uh, another song. Also, you have a uh, marimba, and marimba also we don't have that instrument. Ah, yes. <laughs> wow. So, how like it's so, how do you how much do you think it would cost to rent all that stuff? Like, uh, probably like hundreds of thousands, maybe. Yes, <laughs> I think. Wow. Uh, well, it's not uh, it's not very expensive for for, for us 
because uh, I'm a sound engineer, so I can do it uh, anywhere. You see, we don't have to take another sound engineer to do to record our, our songs. Oh wow! Yes. Yes. Also, so basically, you create them like use like software and a computer to make the the song. Uh, no, I, 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 when I compose, I, I don't take my guitar or my piano. Yeah, I just wait until uh, the song comes into my brains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then afterwards, I, I take um, the guitar or the piano. But I never take a, an instrument to, to compose. I don't need it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's a special way to compose. Um, by the way, how come there's little singing in that song anyway? The Gulf of Knowledge. They only sing like in the end, but mostly it's just instrumental. Yes, it's uh, because uh, we in that in that song we 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 thought that that's enough. Uh, it's enough singing, but in other songs there's no uh, backing vocals. It's mainly vocal, but with some instruments. And other songs, we have uh, about 40 real violin players, you see. Or it dif it's uh, different from one song to the other. Wow. Did, did you ever win, like, a, were you nominated for, like, a music award, Grammy or something? No. No, because, uh, you know, in France, um, the music is... Uh, it's not, it's a variety of music. It's not like uh, in England or in the States. Uh, if you say, uh, for example, Jimi Hendrix, well, not many people know who he, he is. They're quite late. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. How come some people like don't know Jimi Hendrix? Like, who the heck does not know Jimi Hendrix? Even I know who Jimi Hendrix is. Yeah, yes, because uh, you 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 like music and you're interested in um, in music listening, etc. You sing as well. Do, do you play an an instrument? The only instrument I have ever played, I think, was a trumpet, maybe. Yes. And right. I, I I would like I kind of want to get started like on how to play the like guitar and maybe drums. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> that's what I would. Well, I think any any guitarist knows who is G Jimi Hendrix. That 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 the people who don't play an instrument they don't know. I assume you got to perform for the for the president in France, right? Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> that must have been some experience. I can't imagine uh, how it was like. I never like got that honor <laughs> to play in front of a political leader, so I, I'll I'll never know how like how exciting that is, etc. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, give me your Facebook uh, um, on on your mail, okay? All right, I, I'll, I'll do that, and you can send links yeah. and so yeah. So the the your Facebook is um t just Typhoon, right, or Khan? Like frame no, no, so, so no, not only Typhoon, but most most of these songs are from Typhoon. Oh. So you can hear uh, some songs from the latest album. Ah, yes. All right, I, I'll do that, and and, and whoever's listening, so. So to yes. to to, ch to check it out. Um, okay. Uh, which singers have you worked with, by the way? Anyone that you think we might be familiar with? I don't think um, in the states you you know him, but in France is uh, the most well known is uh, Jean Jacques Goldman. Goldman is uh, our first singer, and he's now. Um, the best composer in France, but when we went to Japan, nobody knows him. So I think in the States, uh, who do you know as singer in the States? Oh, so many, so many singers. I wouldn't know where to start. So many singers. I I don't even know if you have heard of any of them. 
Um, I, I don't think so. Also, I guess it depends. Like, like some some people, I've talked to people when it comes to music. Some of them, I listen to music in Europe. Some of them music in Asia. Some music, yeah. uh, maybe African. Some from South America, maybe. Yes. Yeah. So like, it's just that. Yes. You know, pe- people don't know. I I think people like I think more people should be able to, like know what, what what more music from more places, etc. Like just stop sticking to one genre. Uh, yes, of course, yes. <laughs> I've got friends from South Africa, South America, uh, on Facebook, and I've got quite a lot of friends from Japan. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, uh, um, before you go, um, what, what, what would you want to say to, to all the listeners out there besides check out, my, check out Typhoon? Uh, well... Um, I've sent about 30 albums to the States uh, a few months ago and uh, I think um, they, they, all, they were all sold so we hope to come to play uh, in the States one day <laughs> hopefully I'll look forward to that and yeah all right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Khan. Thanks, Chris. I, I, I'll I'll message you. You say you're gonna send me albums, right? Yes. I I'll, yes. I appreciate that. I, um, I'll, I'll tell you the, in just a sec. So um, th- thanks for being on, Khan. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Yes. Thanks. Bye. Bye. And that was. Khan from Taifong. He's a hell of a guy, and I, I and I thought he was just the only member, but I can't believe the band would break up. But as long as he's 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 doing good, that's that's all it counts, you know. You know, uh, basically, if you um, I say, therefore I am. You know, it only matters what you count. It shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks. You know. And there's always hope for everything, you know? At least most things. But, you know, just be you and that's all that counts. For real. It's all that counts.